Okay, just taking a minute here to uh, do a little bit of an update. Um, this big messy wire coming out front, nice and close, is actually just the uh, I squared C bus connection. Um, I was going to try and run it right on the 3.3 volts, which it almost does. It's sort of usable, but it's kind of hard to see. There's almost no contrast. That's what the contrast turned right up. It's usable, but you wouldn't be able to walk by and just read your local IP. And uh, that's the IP on the inside of the router, which is good if you're in the house and you just want to connect to this. The external uh, IP of that is it has a link uh, and some forwarding between a couple routers that can do do their own discovery so that's that's not a biggie um, still trying to work it out to see if I could run that just on 3.3 volts I mean it'll actually function that's the I think it's the YR robot backpack and uh, all I did was laser cut a if you look at that there all I did was just laser cut some black foam just to make it a little bit nicer for when it's pressed into a case um, and this probably won't show up, or maybe it will. Um, I have it just using that uh, LCD library um, that outputs it uh, to the uh, outputs it during the startup of the advanced web server uh, example. So um, I have it uh, just putting printing a top line. And then a little bit down below, after it sends the IP to the serial, it then sends it out to the um, the LCD display there. Should be right. Is it right there? Yeah. So like right here, it'll send it out to that. So that's where it goes out over the serial, and then here you can see it just shows up on the display. Um, that passes that out. Um, so, in theory, you could just walk by that in the house, and for those of us that have the link in our cell phone in the house, all we'd have to do is update it if it wasn't, if it wasn't working. Because sometimes when the power goes out, for some reason, everything resets. Although, I have a feeling this is the fastest thing to boot up. I have a feeling f going forward, this will be the first thing to grab the IP. So, it'll probably stay at 100 on the end there. But, uh, time will tell on that. And I, uh... I'm contemplating adding a 5 volt rail on this. Set that um, set that power supply uh, to be outputting 5 volts, then use a 3.3 uh, volt uh, linear regulator to power this off the 5 volt rail there. And that might make this a little bit more useful. And then I'm going to move this um, level shifter permanently to the board, but what I'll have to do is put some uh, um, some switches on it, maybe I'll use some jumpers so that it can do the job of being a serial port or the uh, I squared C bus level shifter because once this gets installed on a box well, the final version of this is installed in the box it's pretty much only going to have the I squared C for display to this type of uh, LCD display and probably won't have serial at all. It'll probably just be the uh, LCD display, a couple buttons, and then its sensors as I need them. But uh, that's where it's at so far, and again, thanks for watching. Are you doing that? Are you working on the Wi Fi project? Yeah? No, you're bored by the Wi Fi project. You almost, oh, you've been up all night. You almost got it done, do you? Yeah? Okay. You think it's ready? It's got your approval, does it? <laughs>